break early there. Throwing it down the center from Wilhelm. Sagoku outside leg kick. Wilhelm the more flat footed of the two. Counterclockwise movement here on the outside from Sagoku. Wilhelm might have five submission finishes on his record, but he says he wants a KO tonight. He's going to try to bait Sugoku right into that big right hand. Now he's got that clinch. Let's see what he can do now. Sugoku uses the knees. Nice left hand, followed by the right from the Mongolian. Breaks off, gets some distance. Southpaw versus Orthodox here. Wilhelm ate those two punches. I don't think he was expecting Sugoku to be so fast after the break. Wilhelm's got to get that head moving because Sugoku's got a piston of a right hand, or left hand, rather. Wilhelm just telegraphed the left hand he was going to throw. Sugoku, a patient start from the Mongolian. Left hand lead out of that southpaw starts. Yeah, I like the way that Sugoku was just walking that direction there. And he, you know, he lined right up for that left hand. It didn't land, but he's using his footwork real well. Nice knee on the inside from Sagoku. Wilhelm eats shot. these shots, and he's like annoyed by the fact that Omar Sana even attempted to hit him. Two nice left round kicks, though, to the midsection from Omar Sana Sagoku. Yeah, Wilhelm's got to get that head movement. He's got to stay a little bit lighter on his feet. He's very flat footed. I think he's just used to running through people, going, getting no opposition. And Omar Sana is going to give him a lot of opposition. He is tough as nails. The body kick there from Sagoku. Wilhelm drives him back towards the wire. Risk control here from Sagoku. What's Wilhelm trying to do here, Rich? Wilhelm, Wilhelm was trying to take advantage of Sugoku throwing that kick and then having his body out of position and being able to take the back. And it's almost as if Sugoku is comfortable with his back out of position and, and Wilhelm taking that back. He did a great job with that arm control there. He was able to eventually spin around. Hawk left hand there from uh, Sugoku. Resets himself center circle. Can he press Wilhelm to the outside? Two minutes 20 remaining. Yeah, you can see Sugoku starting to get comfortable there. He kind of threw that through that uh, Superman punch and then followed up with the uh, left hook that he had, or the right hook, I should say, the lead hook. Wild round kick there from Wilhelm. Can Sugoku get the knees off? Tries to thread a good uppercut to a left hook. Another left hook from a Sugoku. Oh, Some heavy Wilhelm's artillery. Hurt. Wilhelm's hurt here. And this is what I was talking about, about Mongolians. You cannot underestimate their wrestling. He's doing a great job in the clinch. He's, he's framing on the inside, getting inside control with those arms. And that's what's setting up those punches on the inside. He landed that three-piece combination right off the break of the clinch there. Hands are low, though, on Wilhelm. Wilhelm's kind of stopping and taking Oh, the head pictures. kicks! Sorry, like, dragon, but the head kick caught him on the temple. I know you get excited about the Mawashi Gary, Michael, and I'll let you have that. But he's getting kind of just stuck inside the clinch. Like, right after Omar Sana tries to break away, he's just kind of freezing there, and he's allowing Omar Sana to touch him up on the exit. What a first round so far from Amasana Sagoku of Mongolia. Big looping left hand there, but he telegraphed that one. Sugoku is throwing with some bad intentions. Ooh. That's the second time I've seen him throw big and miss. And when that thing connects, it's going to be destructive. Launching the left hand there out of what South Force stance was Wilhelm. Sugoku resets. Circles off counterclockwise. <laughs> Certainly been his contest so far, but don't forget we are scoring as an overall match. All 15 minutes, not round by round. Think of it as a one big 15 minute round with two intermissions in between rounds. Watch the framework that, that Sugoku's doing here. Pushing Wilhelm off, creating that space, and right there he lands that punch, just like he did off the last clinch break. Another short left hand on the getaway there from Sugoku. Counter right hand from Wilhelm. So Goku full of confidence with 15 seconds remaining in the first. Man, Wilhelm's got a chin of iron though because Omar Sana has That's touched okay. him repeatedly, especially when Wilhelm drops those hands. He leaves his chin exposed and he's okay to just take punches full on the beard.
into the first round. It was a stellar opening five minutes for Amasana Sagunku. Yeah, that is some striking superiority thrown by Omar Sana Sugoku. Look at Wilhelm rushing in there, leaving that chin out. And you can't do that with somebody like Omar Sana. He will put you out if you give him the correct opening. But here he is inside that clinch, framing off the face. And these are the moments that I was talking about. Wilhelm's not being active inside that clinch. He's stopping there, taking pictures, and then things like that happen. Boom, you go up top, he touches you on the head. We showcased it in the open. It's that karate-based striking. That kicks is extremely fast, and Wilhelm needs to find an answer for it, Rich. Yeah, clearly after five minutes in this match, Sugoku's ahead on the scorecard, obviously in the striking category. He did a great job there. And, you you know, we always talk about the punches landing, but what was really impressing me with Sugoku is his feet are always underneath him, whether he's moving forwards or backwards, and that's what's enabled him to landing these combinations. All right, ready, ready? Two! Second round, sip the three. First five minutes. That's pretty much all Amasana Sagoku of Mongolia. Pressing with the jab here. What has Wilhelm got to try and turn the tide? Overhand right from Sagoku. Good left hand. My word, that was hard. And Wilhelm can take a shot, as Dragon said. What a beard on him. Yeah, man, he's got a chin. He's annoyed by the fact that he's allowing these punches to get through. But I would like to see Wilhelm utilize the jab. Because right now, he's kind of telegraphing things by opening up with these big punches. Oh, again, Wilhelm's hurt from the punches of Sugoku. I don't think that Wilhelm expected this at all, Rich. I don't think he did. I actually think Sugoku needs to check his elbow. It might be hurting from Wilhelm's head there because this guy... <laughs> He, just, he took that elbow on the chin and was like, what? What do you got for me? Wilhelm coming forward, shoots out the jab. So Goku's been lighting him up on the feet so far. Have we gone to ground dragon? I don't think we have yet, have we? Uh, I think Armasan is doing a good job as defending the takedowns, especially when Wilhelm even gets the back, because Wilhelm's used to ragdolling people and taking them down, jumping on their back and choking them out. Now he's starting to experience a little bit of adversity. Let's see how he sort of recollects himself, adjusts the game plan. But now what we're seeing is he's starting to put out the jab. Now he's starting to fake things a little bit. Front kick there from Wilhelm, left it dangling. Counter right hand, that's the right idea. Right hand lead there from Sogoku. Flicking front kick from Wilhelm. Sagoku on the back foot. Can Wilhelm capitalize? Sticks a left on the kisser again, does Sagoku. Wilhelm landed, landed a right hand coming in that time, and he's changed up his footwork a little bit. His, his steps are getting smaller. He's not, he's not making as big of lunges as in this, this round as it's begun. So he's, he's starting to make some, some difference on the feet here. And our main event still to come, Mon Colpet versus Mamoudi. Halfway through the second round of three. Good upper gut moving back there. And another one from the Mongolian off the left hand. Shrugs off Wilhelm. Glances towards his corner to Sogoku. <laughs> Wilhelm very flat-footed here. Yeah, we talk about we talk about Wilhelm's chin. We've seen some of these punches from Sugoku land, but when you look at Wilhelm, it doesn't even it doesn't even look like he's been punched. Unless there are a lot of welts under the beard, which we can't tell. But something at this point in time should be showing up on a cheek or a temple or somewhere that's no not cheek covered. To look by at. Hair. It's all covered by hair. Yeah, he's definitely rocking the quarantine beard, but <laughs> even when he when Omar Sana does connect fully, he just seems irritated. He's not really phased by it. So there's definitely no internal That's damage brutal. going on there, and he just marches forward. Oh, Look at that. Beautiful eats it. It. Knee to right cross, drifts back to center circle, bounces on the balls of his feet. It's all flowing for Sugoku so far. Roving with the lead hand, pouring here. You know, Wilhelm came in tremendously confident. Mitch, you spoke to him. Is this going to be a little bit, you know, deflating for him that it's gone this far and that he's been lit up on the feet by Sogoku? 
I don't know. He doesn't seem to be frustrated. He's not really showing any sort of irritation. He's just walking forward, getting aggravated, <laughs> eating these shots, and then throwing punches back like that. Go keep moving. Wilhelm, Wilhelm cannot corner him, cannot close down the movement. Jab from the Mongolian. Jab from the American. Late kick to a right hand. You know, this karate style that Sugoku has, it's, it's, it's a style, he moves backward really, really well. And it's, it's very difficult to land that blow that just, where they feel the full impact. A lot of these shots that Sugoku's getting hit by from Wilhelm is, it, are, most of them are just glancing. Wilhelm out of Hawaii, which is also the home of our world lightweight champion, Christian Lee. No doubt watching on tonight. Two rounds down, one to go. Wow, again, you can't really see it, but Wilhelm is just getting aggressive in there, marching Omar Sana down. But look at this. Puts the hands up saying, what you got? Oh, I got another one. Give it to you again. Omar Sana has a beautiful backpedaling striking style. And this is what we're talking about. Look at that. Inside the clinch, he's got to be a little bit more active. He has to gain some respect from Omar Sana because right now, Omar Sana is touching him up. And this is scored as a whole, not round by round. So. Ben Wilhelm can still come out. He still carries power. He's still got the aggression, and it does look like he's gassing. So he's still in this matchup. Omar Sana right now is touching him up and showcasing striking superiority. Your thoughts, Rich Franklin, as we take a look at your unofficial scorecard? Yeah, Sugoku there, he, I think he increased his lead a little bit, obviously. on uh, This is all footwork here. This is all striking superiority. But he increased the lead a little bit, landing the punches, and we saw in that replay, Wilhelm actually took a page out of Rotang's book. Except for typically, Rotang comes back with a counter. Third and final round. Once again, folks, the bout is scored in its entirety, not round by round. Scored as a 15-minute single period instead of three individual periods. Jab there from Sugoku. And again, threads it through the defense. Inside leg from Wilhelm. Overhand right from the American. Yeah, Wilhelm, what Wilhelm needs to do because of Sugoku's style and his, his ability to backpedal, and this is the karate style in him, is Wilhelm needs to learn how to cut this, cut this cage off. He needs to cut the circle off and get Sugoku's back on the circle but while he's coming in for these combinations. He's here from Sugoku and backs him off with the right hand. The nose is bleeding now on Wilhelm. He bleeds. <laughs> Sogoku just owning him on the feet. We haven't gone to ground. Willem Helm wants him to stand inside the phone booth, but Sogoku's too clever for that. He's not going to take the bait. You can see how Wilhelm is following him, right? As Rich mentioned, as Sogoku starts to circle out to his right, Ben follows him around rather than cutting the corner, taking an angle off to the left and pinning him there. He's following Sugoku around the circle. He's just kind of running around the track with him. And then when Sugoku stops, that's when Sugoku's firing, entering the clinch and scoring heavily. Yeah, you can, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. I'll tell you, if you watch the footwork of these two guys and you see these little micro steps that Sugoku is taking, it's just difficult for, for Wilhelm to keep up with him. He's going to have to take bigger motions and bigger motions, and you typically get yourself out of position with stuff like that. <laughs> Wilhelm wants Sugoku to come close to him and stand and trade. Sugoku not doing it. Do you sense some frustration from Wilhelm now? Well, I mean, you can see a little bit of frustration when Omar Sana touches him and then Ben kind of flares his hand out to the side and screams. I think it's he's trying to show aggression and trying to get Omar Sana to psychologically engage with him, but it's tough because Omar Sana knows what he's doing out there. See how Wilhelm's follow him around rather than cutting the angle? That's what he needs to do. He needs to cut that angle, trap him. Here, throw the leg kick when he switches stances. Add some hooks, add some punches. 
Nice knee, body to head, hand combinations from Sudoku. Has been some better aggression though from Wilhelm over the last minute and a half. I like the way that Wilhelm was cutting, cutting the angles there at first, but I'll tell you what, if I was in his corner, I would tell him to make sure not to engage in the clinch because that's where he's taking multiple punch combinations. Mitch, with Wilhelm coming in undefeated 5-0 with a 100% finishing rate, would it be considered an upset? If Amasana Sogoku beats him tonight. Okay, you need to fight. I don't, I don't think it would be considered an upset. Amarsana has a Ready? lot of experience. He has a Talk. great camp behind him. You know, he's very well rounded. I don't think it would be an uh, necessarily a you know a gigantic upset, but it you know the, Wilhelm had a lot of hype coming into him behind him behind this match. What Sogoku has done is he's taken on a Gracie guy who's got 100 percent finishing rate, all submissions, and has never allowed it to go to ground has absolutely owned him on the feet Wilhelm has not gone to his comfort zone where is the ground where he usually has ownership and meanwhile Sogoku has fought a perfect fight so far I'm, in, I'm impressed with Wilhelm at his conditioning here his chin his ability even the body kicks it nothing has nothing that he's been hit with any of the shots to the head any of the shots to the body nothing has slowed his pace down this entire match no doubt about that this corner of Wilhelm saying, come on, Ben, let's go. 45 seconds remaining in the contest. Rich, I know you're impressed with Wilhelm's toughness, but I'm impressed with Sugoku striking, man. He's dynamite on the back foot. He's doing good work inside the clinch and doing just everything he needs to score points and not take a lot of time. And that's it, Mitch. I'm impressed with the patience and the execution of Sugoku. He hasn't been wild, hasn't overextended himself, hasn't tried to swing for a knockout on Wilhelm. Everything's been precise. I'll tell you, this is one of those matches that if you're a fan at home watching, record this and go back and watch Sugoku's footwork because that's the most impressive thing in this match. More damage to the face of is that nose still bleeding on Wilhelm. Wilhelm barking at Sugoku. Wants him to engage. Final 10 seconds, final flurry. Left hand caught Wilhelm. Wow, great sportsmanship at the end there. So Goku did not want to stand and trade, smartly so. It goes to the judges, Rich. Man, I love the way that Wilhelm was just walking forward there with his hands down, just literally walking him down, chasing him down. Folks, wherever you're watching around the world, let us know on social media. Do you have it for Wilhelm? Do you have it for Sogoku? At one championship on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. You know, just great work inside the clinch. Utilizing that frame perfectly. He's got the overhook on the left side, landing those knees. The minute he gets a little bit of separation, puts two or three punches together. And this is just beautiful counter striking on the back foot. Sees, as soon as he sees that opening, touches you up. His accuracy is extremely effective when he chooses his weapons to fire. He's accurate, he's fast. Great performance. How will the judges see it? We believe that Sogoku will get the nod here with an exemplary striking performance. Let's go to Dom Lau and find out our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the Blue